Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the SPC Maker Bat 78HD, a beginner friendly micro quadcopter that features a flexible and durable molded plastic frame. In this video, I'm going to quickly go over its features and specs, show you how to set it up, and test it both indoors and outdoors. The SPC Maker Bat 78 is available in a couple of versions. The non HD version is equipped with the Runcam Nano 2 FUB camera, and the HD version, which is the one that I'm going to test in this video, is equipped with the Runcam Split 3 Nano FPV slash HD recording camera. In addition, both versions are available with multiple radio receiver options, and you can get them with either 11,000 kV motors, which can handle up to 3S batteries, or 8,000 kV motors, which can handle up to 4S batteries. In terms of packaging, inside the box, along with the quadcopter, you can find the user manual, two sets of Genfan 1636 full bladed propellers, some stickers, a USB to micro USB cable, with an extra long micro USB connector, some extra screws and rubber bands for securing the battery, and four extra pieces of foam battery pads. In terms of specs, the BAT78 features a single piece of molded plastic frame, 1103 11,000 kV motors which can handle up to 3S batteries, or 8,000 kV motors which can handle up to 4S batteries, an F4 all-in-one toothpick style flight controller, which features an integrated 20 ampere BLLES 4-in-1 ESC and came pre-flashed with Betaflight 4.1.2, a 40 channels video transmitter that supports RC tram protocol and has a selectable output strength of 25, 100, 200, and 400 milliwatts. In addition, it is using an XT30 battery connector, and the battery is going to be mounted on the bottom carbon fiber plate using two rubber bands. Since this is the HD version, the Runcam Split 3 Nano DVR board is mounted on top of the flight controller, its camera unit is well protected inside the frame, and on the back side of the quadcopter you can find the VTX and radio receiver antennas in case you have one of the Bind and Fly versions, and two LED units. As for the frame, its wheelbase is 78mm and it features a Squash X pattern. Without a battery, the BAT78 HD weighs 58.3 grams. The weight, including a GNB 520mAh 2S LHV battery, is 87.1 grams. And the total weight, including a GNB 3S 520mAh LHV battery, which is in my opinion the recommended one for this setup, is 100 grams. In order to set up the BAT78, first install a radio receiver in case you have the plug and play version. Then bind the radio receiver with the radio controller, and by the way, in my version, which is equipped with the Airflow SCAD XM Plus receiver, the bind button is accessible without removing the bottom carbon fiber plate. After the binding procedure is completed successfully, connect the flight controller to your computer using the micro USB port, which is located on the bottom side of the flight controller. Open up Betaflight, hit connect, and in case you have one of the bind and fly versions, the radio receiver is going to be pre configured for you. After removing the propellers, plugging a battery and make sure that all the sticks are configured and working properly. And in case you have the Airflow Sky X10 Plus version, in order to display the RSSI value on your on-screen display, make sure that under the receiver tab on Betaflight, the RSSI channel is set to auxiliary 12. The easiest option to set up the VTX is using the video transmitter tab on Betaflight, and as you can see, the VTX table is pre-configured for you. Under selected mode, you'll be able to set the band, set the channel, and set the output power, pit mode, and low power disarm options. In addition, you'll also be able to configure the VTX manually using this button, however, if you will choose to do so, you will need to disable the VTX RC Trump protocol option under peripherals next to UO2. On the back side of the quadcopter, you can find two very bright user controllable LED units. These LED units can be controlled using an auxiliary switch, but you should pay attention that this switch over here should be set to the right side and not to the left as otherwise the LED units are going to be turned off. Finally, your last steps are to configure your favorite flight modes and OSD elements, and then you'll be pretty much good to go. The next thing that I've done is to test the BAT78 HD both indoors and outdoors using 2S and 3S LHV batteries. In terms of flight time, you can expect between 2-2.5 to two and a half minutes using the 2S batteries, and between 3-3.5 three to three and a half minutes using the 3S batteries. So what I recommend to do is to stick to 3S batteries, and just limit the motor's output in case you need to do it, for example, when flying the quadcopter indoors. In terms of performance, I can tell you that even though the BAT78 HD is not very agile, it can still get pretty fast when using it with 3S batteries, and even though the captured HD footage is not 100% gel free when flying the BAT78 HD outdoors, it is still pretty good when comparing it with other similar sized quadcopters 
which are equipped with HD recording cameras. Finally, the highlight of this quadcopter, which makes it beginner friendly and also worth buying in my opinion, is this frame, which even though is not indestructible of course, is still very flexible and robust, and not something that will break easily in case of a crash. So if you're in the market for a beginner friendly micro quadcopter, which is equipped with a split style HD recording camera, you should definitely check out the BAT78 HD, and I'm going to wrap up this video with some flat footage, which hopefully is going to help you to make up your mind whether you want to get it or not. As always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos, and goodbye.